Jerusalem, a vision of serenity. But the war goes on, and in between the battles, walls of hostility. Two peoples with a different story to tell, Palestinians and Israelis, each fortified in its own memories, each with its own images. How important are the photos to the survival of one story? How do they determine a way an event is remembered? Everyone's taking photos today. If there's no photo, it didn't happen. Sixty years ago, there were few to witness and take photos of the battle for Jerusalem. Five days after the foundation of the State of Israel in 1948, the battle for the Jewish quarter escalated. Outside the walls, the Israelis had the upper hand. Within the walls, the Israelis were fighting large Jordanian forces. The battle lasted ten days and nights, with heavy Jordanian artillery fire. The Israelis surrendered and the old city passed into the hands of the Jordanians. In 1967, there was another battle, and today the old city is under Israeli rule. The only photographs of the battle, published in 1948, were by war photographer John Phillips. He documented the Israeli defeat in the old city stage by stage, right up to the evacuation of 3,000 Jewish residents to the Israeli zone of Jerusalem. At the same time, tens of thousands of Palestinians living outside the walls became refugees. Each side with its losses, its dead. Readers of the World Press saw John Phillips' photographs of Palestinians looting Jewish property. This is how Israelis still remember the Battle of Jerusalem in 1948. The Jews turned refugees, the Palestinians looting their possessions. This photo of the little Jewish girl was seen all over the world. There were other little girls, and there must have been other photographs. No Jewish photographer could have shot the pictures I did. Being a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant was no help either. Conditions were such that anyone with a camera was considered a Jewish spy and promptly set upon. I managed to get the pictures only because I was in the uniform of the Arab Legion on the 14th of May, 1948, when I joined the Legion on the way to Jerusalem. Pink bromeliad bloomed in an old gasoline can on the window ledge. From behind it, two Arab irregulars fired away. A third jammed a fresh clip into his rifle. The Jews must have at least 50 synagogues and every one is a fortress, one of them said. It must have been May the 19th that I became aware of the Arab legion in full battle dress streaming into the old city. The Jordanians were highly trained and fully equipped. For 10 days and nights, the battle raged. On May the 28th, the Israelis surrendered. 